Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video uh, to talk about this, uh, I guess, news that is unfold unfolding about uh, Sasha Banks, uh, who has walked out on WWE, uh, I guess, an hour before the show started on Raw, and the event, the main event, changed. Um, and there's a lot of convict conflicting reports with this notion i will say that right now there's a lot of conflicting reports um because well you know it was supposed to be a six-pack challenge for the number one contender match uh not a one-on-one -on -one match uh and also the reports and i'll put the source in the description the link in the description but some of the things that I've seen from P P PW Insider was that they basically said that, well, Sasha Banks uh, did not like the creative direction of the Raw, or for tonight's Raw, where she was reportedly supposed to get pinned by her tag team partner um, and one half of the tag team champions. Cause they're the, currently the women's tag team champions right now. Uh, she was supposed to get pinned by Naomi and, um, she, Naomi was supposed to be the number one contender for the, uh, for the title, for the, uh, the raw women's title. I don't know if I believe that because of the way the direction is going for this storyline. I'm actually, I thought they were going to do a triple threat, uh, with B uh, Becky Lynch, Asuka, and, um, and uh bianca Belera, but um it seems like they're not doing that um they're not gonna do that now because they for whatever reason had becky lynch lose to freaking asuka like what the friggin that's another thing they're really downgrading becky lynch now and it's really pissing me off um anyways uh, that's another thing. Um, but getting into this whole uh, topic is that Sasha Banks potentially is quitting WWE. And I don't know if that's true, but I do know for sure that she walked out. And, um, you know, I mean, I mean, walkouts happen all the time with WWE. Quits happen all the time with WWE. But a lot of times it's, you know, mid cards who, you know, it's whatever to them, to WWE. I mean, it's not that much of a loss to them. Uh, but, you know, when it's, you know, wrestlers like Austin, Punk, uh, you get a lot of traction. Obviously, Sasha Banks, um, you know, has main evented multiple uh, events uh some pay-per-views as well as some raws for the women's division obviously one of the uh featured women for the women's division um and in my opinion and i think in a lot of people's opinion i've said this multiple times throughout the years is that she is the best female wrestler currently on the roster as well as including in aew i think she is better than everyone on the roster uh bar none uh, in terms of wrestling uh, ability. Um, and uh, honestly, it really doesn't surprise me she walked out. I'm going to be completely blunt about it because I have seen Sasha Banks work her ass off in the ring. And basically, in terms of my perspective as a fan, the booking for her has been utter shit. Okay. That's being blunt about it, okay? I mean, yeah, they started off with the whole team bad thing uh, during the start of the female or the women's revolution or whatever. But um, when they started, you know, when they got rid of the Divas title and they, you know, created the the, the first t uh, women's title and then, of course, the second women's title was created later for Raw and SmackDown, um, I didn't think Sasha Banks was being booked really good you know she would win the title and then she would lose it a month later 
uh, and this was pretty much the trend uh, throughout her career uh, after this happened. Uh, now I know the first one, uh, the first I think it was the first title run she had, uh, where she lost it a month later because she was nursing an injury or something. But after that, that just continued to be the norm, you know, with her and uh, Charlotte uh, mostly. Um, but then we move forward to, I believe, um, last year, uh, when she finally won the title from, um, from Bailey, um, she won the raw title, you know, from Asuka and then lost it to Asuka, which made sense because she wasn't actually on the raw roster and when they were at the whole title, then she turned babyface and, uh, took the title from, uh, Bailey, um, and then she actually had a late, lengthy women's title run with the uh, with the the SmackDown. I think it was yeah, it was the SmackDown Championship. Uh, the SmackDown Women's Championship. She had a lengthy title run for the first time ever, but then all of a sudden they turned her heel for whatever reason during her babyface title run, which made no sense. Um, you know, basically the big show effect, uh, and basically her long title run was basically her being a belt warmer for, uh, Bianca Bellera. That's basically what she was. It was just like, you know, Bret Hart, you know, when he won the title at, you know, the Survivor Series, and then basically, you know, was going to lose it at WrestleMania. To Sean, I mean, that that's what a belt warmer is, by the way, for anybody who's wondering what a belt warmer is. Uh, that's a wrestling term for someone who's winning the title just to basically lose it at a certain point. That's what a belt warmer is, for anybody who doesn't know that wrestling term. That is about, that's what a belt warmer is, and that's what Sasha was for that title run. She was a belt warmer for Bianca Valera. Their plans were for Bianca, Bel Bianca Valera to win the title at WrestleMania, and, you know, Sasha Banks was just there basically to put her over. You know, or have the title until they needed for her to put uh, put uh, put her over. And that's what, what she was. WWE never had her really as a featured, you know, top female I mean, she was a top female character, but not to the way she should have been presented. She should have been like Becky Lynch. You know, Becky Lynch got lucky in that whole effect on, you know, being, a, you know, being featured like the main event and whatnot, you know, getting the main event of WrestleMania. That's what Sasha Banks should have had. Sasha Banks was better than all these women in terms of talent. Uh, she had the mic skills and she had everything over all of them, uh, you know, and I, there's a lot of, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of great female uh, wrestlers in the WWE right now, but I think Sasha, in terms skill, mic, wrestling, um, she had the best out of all of them. Um, and I've said it for years. This isn't me just saying it now. I, you know, you literally go on my Twitter account, and I've said this multiple times. You can go all the way back. So this isn't me just saying it now. I've said it for a long time now. Um. Um, and, you know, it's always been Charlotte, 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 you know, which Charlotte uh, keeps, um, you know, Charlotte is basically getting her push because of Ric Flair. I mean, and, and no one can convince me otherwise that she isn't getting, I mean, I'm not saying that she wouldn't have won the women's title without Ric Flair, but the fact that she has gotten the push that she has gotten, there ain't no way you cannot convince me. That that isn't because of Ric Flair, okay? You cannot convince me. That she, there's no way she'd have won that many titles and featured as much as she is if it wasn't for Ric Flair, okay? That is a that that is that is all out there. You know it is. You know they would not be giving her that much attention. And you know, um, you know lately WWE really hasn't treated their uh, the women really good in the booking committee for storylines. I mean, Sasha has been treated like crap 
as of late. And Alexa Bliss, obviously, she wasn't featured on television for months. She wasn't featured on television for months. They had her come back for the chamber. And then she was gone. After she was one of the final competitors for that match, by the way. She's gone for months. They bring her back last week with her actual theme music. Her original theme music before she started doing the theme, the theme gimmick. Um, and everyone loved it. And then tonight she's where she, she has crappy theme music. Now they took away the music of Alexa bliss that actually made, you know, people interested in her character, her original character, the goddess character. And they give her some dumb music generic thing or whatever they were doing there. And now you got Sasha Banks who potentially might have quit WWE, I don't know. Maybe she'll come back next week or SmackDown or whatever. But as of right now, there's a lot unknown. We're not going to know anything until the next couple of days. Currently, she's the women's tag team champion with Naomi, which, again, the, the report makes no sense because also the report said that Naomi left as well. Okay, Naomi left with Sasha Banks. But literally, this whole uh, this whole thing had nothing to do with Naomi, okay? And according to PW Insiders, Naomi, okay, was supposed to win. She was supposed to win. Why would she? Why would she leave with Sasha Banks if she was scheduled to win? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make. That, that's why I was telling. Like that. That report doesn't make sense. No, the, the, the whole Sasha Banks walking out makes sense. Okay, I can believe that. I don't believe that Naomi and Sasha walked out together. They're, that, that makes no sense. Because unless Naomi is frustrated about the whole thing too. Which I don't see why she would be because she was supposed to win. That makes no sense. So th th there's something that, like I said, the full details haven't come out yet. But I'm sure we're going to actually know the real story uh, in the next couple of days. Um, but right now, this is the story they're running with. And I just, you know, some of this stuff's got to be picked apart. Because there's just, I, I, there's just no way that Naomi left with Sasha. There's no way that she left with Sasha if she was supposed to win. Because then that makes her look bad with the company. Okay? Because Sasha is probably going to get... I don't know, you know, if she decides to come back and they're going to find her, you know, they did that to Austin and whatnot, you know, they're going to find her or whatever. I, I don't know what they're going to do, but they'll do something like that. Uh, if she doesn't come back, uh, WWE is going to have to strip her of the women's title, the, uh, the women's tag team title. Um, and I don't know how they're going to handle that. Whether Naomi gets a new partner or they're just going to do like a tournament or something like that. Uh, personally, I think they should just give her a replacement partner because WWE really doesn't have female tag teams. I mean, they just put tag. They just put they just put females together that that aren't currently in a program for the world title or for the women's world title. And then just they just put them together. That, that's basically what they do. For the female tag team because they don't have female tag teams they don't they they barely have male tag teams okay they barely have ma their tag team division sucks okay the, their tag team division has always sucked for years like i mean it was good in the 90s and early 2000s and it sucked since okay uh and the 80s as well 80s they actually had a lot of good tag teams back then but their tag teams have sucked they got two tag teams, two tag team titles for the men, okay? There's no way you can add a, a, a second female tag team, tag team uh, title uh, because <laughs> they don't have any good tag teams. They're only, the, the tag teams are just single wrestlers that they put together. That's literally their tag teams, okay? That's literally their tag teams. Sasha shouldn't even be in the tag team division because she's a single wrestler that has nothing really, they have nothing creatively 
to do uh, in the singles division right now. So they just put them together. And once they're done with them, they'll split them up. And then they'll freaking just do another tag team that randomly is put together that they, you know, have no time for them doing single stuff for. That's literally their tag team division for the female. Not that I'm saying that the females don't deserve a tag team division, but there really isn't a point to it when you don't have tag team divisions. You know, you don't have actual tag teams, okay? You know, they had one, the Iconics, and they're gone now. So, you know, they don't have actual tag teams, and that's the problem um, for the females. But they, for the most part, they don't have male tag teams either. I mean, the Usos, I mean... That's really about it. I mean, yeah, I mean, Riddle and Orton are over, but they're over because of Orton. It's not because they're a great tag team, all right? It's just like Daniel and Kane, okay? Daniel Bryan and Kane. Team Hell No was not a great tag team, but they were over, and that's why WWE kept them as tag team champions and that's what they're doing with riddle and orton they are over as a team they're a publicity team you know they're not really a team but they're over as a tag team so they just continue doing it going with it that's not really a great tag team okay a tag team is an actual tag team that has chemistry that are actually built as tag teams okay you know this is what aew is actually good at AEW is tremendously good at tag teams, okay, and actually developing, you know, what a team is, you know, um, you know, the Young Bucks, F, F, FTR, you know, those are tag teams, they are made to be tag teams, they're not made to be single wrestlers, okay, those are tag teams, okay, these are not tag teams, they just throw them together, and uh, Sasha has been thrown together, as a tag team for no reason whatsoever okay so yeah in terms of the but getting back to the topic here at hand it does not surprise me that sasha banks uh potentially quit right now that we know of it's just a walkout um but it does not surprise me because the booking decisions that they have done with her sucks now i don't know how long her contract is for wwe you know, a lot of people are rolling around, well, maybe she's going to go to AEW, or maybe she's going to go to Hollywood. She's actually done a couple uh, roles in, in, you know, movies and stuff like that. So I could see her doing that, but I could also see her going to AEW. You know, Sasha Banks is a wrestler. I could see her going, wanting to go to AEW, and a lot of people are saying, oh, there's no way she's going to AEW. How the frig do you know, first of all? Okay, you don't control what she wants to do or, or not. Okay, and it's just the same thing with Cody Rhodes. When Cody Rhodes went to WWE, I was happy for him. I wasn't one of these these nut job AEW fanboys that were like, oh, you know, Cody's a traitor. Cody's a traitor. I already made a rant video about that, by the way. Cody's a traitor, even though I could then argue that Daniel Bryan, Dean Ambrose, and everyone that pretty much left WWE for AEW. Uh, oh, oh, and Chris Jericho too, by the way. Since Chris Jericho actually said he would never wrestle for anyone besides WWE. And he, of course, lied about that. Um, I could say that too. Um, all these guys, you know, are traitors then. They're traitors, ladies and gentlemen. They're traitors. Even though back in the WCW days, everyone did the same crap. You know, so no, do I know Sasha? I mean, I know Sasha Banks won't be able to use her Sasha Banks name. Um, they'll have to come up with a new name, Banks name, because obviously I'm sure WWE has that trademarked. But, um, um, nonetheless, whatever happens, happens. And, you know, whatever Sasha does, that's her business. I don't know what her contract is. I mean, that's going to also depend on what her contract is because, I mean, in the CM Punk situation, CM Punk only had like like five or six months left on his contract when he quit WWE. 
you know, um, Sasha Bank, and, and there was no really major wrestling organization back then, of course, too. Um, now there is, so there that that's another thing. Um, but I don't know what her contract status is, so we'll we'll see, and we'll see. Maybe she does come back. I mean, it didn't say quit; it said walk out. So, you know, Austin, it took him nine months to come back. Um, so. Uh, when he walked out in 2002. Uh, so, I don't know. Um, but whatever Sasha does, you know, is what it is for me. You know, I think I, I'm not I, I'm not surprised that she did it. I'm surprised that she didn't do it sooner. Um, you know. You know, she's, you know, been misused badly for years, in my opinion. She's the best female wrestler on the roster. She's better than she's better than any of them right now, in my opinion. Uh, not again. I have obviously, you know, my rank, my rank of the top five right now, active women wrestlers right now, uh, in wrestling and mic skills and all that stuff. And uh, I think she's still the best out of them all, uh, in my opinion. Um, comment rate, like I said, if there's any more updates, I'll I'll cover this as much as I can. Um. And that's about it, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you, uh, you know, for all the updates and whatnot. Um, you know, if you want to be kept up to date on all this content uh, that I do on YouTube, make sure to subscribe. Um, so, yeah, that's about it, guys. I am the S. Ultimate Goku and Maverick. Peace.